Hola people, how's everyone doing today? Well, as you can tell by the title of today's video, it's the unboxing. It's the late unboxing too. <laughs> so these are from September. Yeah, okay, yeah, all three of these are September. So we're not super late, but we're definitely on the cusp of October right now. So I'm trying to hurry up and get this video up before it's like a whole brand new month and we have new boxes that will be coming out. So today we're going to have a trend mood box that came out that I picked up, my Ipsy, and my Boxy Charm. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, I don't have a lot of information on everything, so I'll be reading from boxes and then I'll just put everything on screen like I normally do, including prices and links down below. All right. So trend mood box was like a different type of box. I believe this box was supposed to be geared towards like travel and like um moisturized and dewy and you know just looking like you know your best vacation self i guess i must be like easy breezy type of things so a lot of the products are like kind of dewy natural type of products and some since we have some skincare and we have some makeup and i think i've tried everything i've tried everything at least a couple of times so i'll pop in videos of the demos for all of those as well but um yeah so i guess i'll get started with the one that I was least was my least favorite and this is the, actually the new Bosha Berry Blend Smoothing Facial with 28% Acid Complex so this is a mask and I love masks I love to mask all the time but there's something about this mask that like maybe it's the smell I don't know sometimes I'm kind of weird about things that smell like food that I'm using as like a product on me sometimes sometimes it doesn't bother me sometimes it's just like ugh. like this felt like I was putting like a fruit roll-up smelling thing on my face um, I did like how my skin looked afterwards so I do feel like it did do something but the smell to me was not my favorite so I just wasn't really happy with it it's definitely has like a very like blackberry blueberry blend type of smell and it's very liquidy if you can see that like you can even see like all the little seeds and everything in there so it was a little bit um it was a little bit shocking at first because i was like okay it looks like somebody legit took some berries put it in the blender threw it in here and was like okay put this on your face 38 dollars. here you go hello um so that was just that but yeah something about the smell it's like fake berry smell not fresh berry smell so it wasn't my favorite smell but I did like how it how it felt on the skin and I love that it came with its own little spatula because this thing is super liquidy and super like runny and everything so it did get kind of all over the place basically you leave it on for about 20 minutes and then you take it off use it one to two times per week so I do like how it looked I think my skin did look really nice um I love Bosha it's like K I think it's a K beauty blend K Beauty brand that's a little a tongue twister there so I did like it the smell not so much but other than that yeah I thought this was a really good the next thing is also a skincare thing and I love this actually this is the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic acid excuse me hyaluronic serum deep hydration and glow so uh, this was brand new it literally just came out like last month I believe and this is what the bottle looks like right here and this I loved uh, I am NOT a huge fan of glow recipe I don't like that watermelon mask that you use I feel like it doesn't do anything for my skin I have the retinol avocado one I don't like that either um, let's see do I like anything from glow recipe what else? I think I feel like I tried like another thing and it just wasn't kind of like my cup of tea. Um, I really like the visuals of this brand, but I just can never seem to like find anything that like works for me until this. Now this I absolutely love. Um, I believe this is a glass too, but basically it's just a serum that you put on your skincare before you put on your moisturizer and it's for deep hydration and i'm like underneath the air conditioning like 24 7 so sometimes i get really like super dryness like right in like the crevices like my nose and around my mouth and everything and this was so good and i feel like it just plumped up everything like it said it does um it kind of has the texture of the snail essence that's by cosrx kind of reminds me of the same type of texture of that maybe not as like goopy as that one but still pretty similar but um yeah I really enjoyed this a lot it was really good I like this in conjunction with my moisturizer that I was using and yeah this was a win for me 
uh definitely would repurchase with my own money this was this was really nice it definitely made your skin feel like really glowy and plump and juicy looking mm. it was a win for me all right what do we have next okay next is the becca light gleam primer and topper liquid eyeshadow so now i'm gonna say this i'm sick of liquid eyeshadows i, I just am there i just come to find because i have really foldy mature creasy lids that liquid eyeshadows are not really forgiving for those type of lids when you have texture on them but this one was pretty cute and a little interesting the colors were a little interesting more than what we've normally seen but it has like the same type of concept i guess like a hud of beauty where it's like a matte on one side and then like a topper glittery shade on the other and this one is in red star and i would not normally gra uh, gravitate to something in this color scheme but this was really pretty i wore this maybe like a week ago and i used this and buffed it in so i basically used the matte shade buffed it in with like um a blending brush topped it with the glitter shade and it just gave the most twinkly like effect on your skin it's not like a straight like glitter like thick chunky i just like dab 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 it was so freaking pretty so i'll put the picture up on the screen of how it looked when i had it on but this was really good and it didn't feel like it was like my it didn't feel like my eyelids were like sticking onto each other it didn't feel like it was like a goopy mess all over the place where sometimes that can happen so yeah this was good i really like the formula of this and i don't know if i would rebuy it just because i'm just not like going to be doing like liquid shadows but if you were like had this in your you know car or if you had this in your pocketbook for to use like later on you know when you're like in a rush to do some makeup i think this will work in a pinch and it will be it will look really pretty and put together so yeah that was a win for me as well let's see oh this next thing was a brand that i've actually always wanted to try and it's nude sticks so they had their nudies glow all over face highlight and in the shade bubbly baby yeah bubbly baby so here is the shade it's like a champagne -y rose gold color so pretty again i did use this the same time when i used that and it was really nice um it's a cream sh i like cream uh highlighters i find like they work really well on my skin i dabbed it in with my fingers i think i used the sponge to kind of like just blend it in but it's a it says it's a skin brightening balm with a soft metallic glow for glassy skin dab dab on high points of face for dewy highlight dual ended blending brush twist off to finish oh is that how you do that here yeah, there's a brush at the end and i was like how the heck do you wash this thing but it says you can twist <laughs> i did not know that Let's see reading reading helps guys so yeah so cool so now that i know that i will try and use that because i was like i'm not gonna use this brush because how am i gonna clean it you know but it i mean it's super 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 soft and seems like it would blend in really well so now i'm excited about that because i did not know that you could pop off for cleaning but yeah there we go next thing is from p louise which is another brand where i've been curious about because they have these really beautiful palettes they also have like those um cream cut crease shadows that people use that come in like different colors all the time that people love so um but it's like a british brand so i'm just not gonna play shipping for it and i there might be some real retailers here that sell it but i'm not 100 percent sure so it's called the p louise boarding class first class lip kit and let's see it says send nudes here's to chasing your dreams and the cutest lip combo you own xoxo the liner is in achievements the lipstick is in heights this distance between your dreams and reality is called action so i thought that was pretty cool so basically it is a lip kit and it's the passenger name I don't know if you guys can see the passenger name what it says right there yeah <laughs> so um it says departing from your comfort zone to destination success the time is now so okay this is pretty cool so i am wearing the lip liner right now but i have a different lip on top but it's really pretty just a nudie brown lip liner really creamy really like this a lot i've worn it a few times and i really like the formula of this let's see this is an achievement and then they have the lipstick and all in this millennial pink uh type of situation and i think it's really pretty but i love this magnetic closures always get me 
so yeah and then that is the color which is like a peachy nude i'll just swatch that right next to it yeah so i'm happy this actually works for my skin complexion really well i really enjoy it and yeah and oh you know what let me uh swatch the nude sticks while i'm right here that is the nude sticks and then i guess i'll swatch the back here really quickly as well for some swatching i wasn't going to but here we go um and the Becca one side has the paddle, the matte side, and then the glitter side has a brush, which I actually really like. Forgot about that. That was actually really cool. But yeah, you can see how pigmented the, the, the primer part is, which is that dark brown. And then that's the glitter. Yeah. So all in all, I really enjoy the majority of these. Oh, I have one more thing. So the other thing was New Sticks also had a lip glacy, a lip glaze. I think it's a lip glacy um and it's basically just their uh lip gloss and i'm wearing that on top of the lip liner right now you all not only is this color my everything right now it smells like girl scout cookies mint chocolate mint chocolate mint thin mints that's what they're called they smell like girl scout thin mints oh my god if you love mint and chocolate smell together this 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 Ooh. and it just makes your lips look so juicy but this 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 really good i really enjoyed that a lot so, all right so all in all i thought this was a really good box um i'll put on screen how much i paid for everything but yeah i really enjoyed this box with the exception of that one mask that i didn't really care for the smell of it but it actually i thought it worked really well so yeah i will go ahead and scooch to the next box okay so the next thing we're gonna do is the boxy charm box so i am a premium member for boxy charm um so scooch for the premium is $35 a month? Yes, I forget. I think it's $35 a month for the premium box. Um, and then you get five to six full size name brand items. Uh, most of the time, I really enjoy my boxes. Every now and then I get a dud, but for the most part, I usually enjoy the majority of what's in my box. I think that even though they don't stick to like a profile per se, I feel like because you're able to like make choices and all that and all that, that you can kind of customize a little portion of your box and then it's not so bad. Um, this month, I totally forgot to um, pick my time for, or pick my selection. So every month you're allowed to pick one choice item and I completely forgot to do it. And I ended up actually getting the item that I wanted anyway, which is actually this Ola Hendrickson Fat Glow Facial. I have been wanting this since it came out, but I think it's like 40 or 50 bucks for this thing. Um, and basically it is, so it says, let's get fat. No downtime, no downtime needed. Packed with poly, polyhydroxy acids (PHAs) to help te retexturize. This one-step massage activated facial targets fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, and pores. It also hydrates and reveals smoother, instantly more luminous skin, making it the ultimate get ready with me essential for a party ready, no filter necessary. So, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm excited to. Maybe I'll we'll use it tonight. But I am excited to. Uh, give this a go. I love to use acids ever since I was in school and got introduced to them as an esthetician. I adore acids. They to me just when you get that really nice smooth finish to your skin after doing your skincare morning and night the way you're supposed to. Chef's kiss telling you so I'm excited to try this out and see if it will work for my skin regimen so uh, I believe it also has a like, super good reviews on Sephora so that is awesome now with BoxyCharm you always get a palette every month whether it's a face palette or eyeshadow palette or something every month you're always going to get a palette so this month it is the Queen palette by Eloise and it is a British brand I'm not too familiar with the brand but this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today these shadows are really nice and this is my color scheme y'all know i love me some purples right purple pink this like oof fairy looking color oh i just love it so i definitely have so i have your highness i use sherba kingdom powerful throne your highness and monarch all of my lips today and i just think it looks so beautiful 
it's definitely a really cute i will do some swatches and put them in here and i'll continue to test this out and let you guys know but so far i really enjoy the formula and it looks good so yeah this is the one for me as well so far we're doing pretty good on these boxes let's see the next thing is the emma hardy brilliance facial oil overnight treatment it increases moisture levels increases elasticity balances the skin and antioxidant protection Okay, so I actually just was about to pick up a new oil from Sephora because I'm almost out of my Biosense um, vitamin C oil. So I am excited because now I don't have to purchase one. I can try this one out right here. And I'm not familiar with this brand, but I will go look it up and check the ingredients before I try it out to see like if I like it. But I mean, it feels pretty sturdy and luxurious. This is the bottle right here. And I really, let's see, what type of oils are in here? A multi-active lightweight, dry, nourishing facial oil complex, including nine essential oil. Oh, it has essential oils in it. Hmm. Palmarosa, orange, mint, vanilla, geranium, cam chamomile, lemon, rose, lavender, and omega-3, which all help to increase moisture levels and, and, and elasticity, as well as balancing the skin. Camelina Gold of Pleasure Oil contains powerful antioxidant properties to protect the skin from environmental damage so what it says is no silicone synthetic colors synthetic fragrance petroleum mineral oil sulfates or animal ingredients dermatologically tested suitable for vegetarians and vegans all right well i will give it a go hopefully i'll do a patch test and see if i don't if hopefully it doesn't irritate me with all the essential oils that they have in it um i was not aware that it had all that in there but let's see it smells really good though so hopefully it's not going to be too bad Let's see, let's do a little dial on the back of my hand. I'm kind of curious. I really like the packaging though. Ooh, it feels nice and thick and luxurious. Kind of feels like how almond oil has like that thick, viscous type of feel to it. Ooh, my skin feels, it's, it just basically dried down that quick. Hmm, not bad. Okay. Well, we will give this a shot and see how it goes. Next thing. Oops. Oh, I forgot there's a card in here that gives you the information too. Nice. Okay, so the next thing is by Frank Bonnie, and it's a peppermint coffee scrub. Exfoliator for smooth and glowing skin. Has robust the coffee, buffs away dry skin, the peppermint peppermint oil muscle soothing and breakout fighting olive oil rich in fatty acids and vitamins to hydrate your skin i am not a coffee person you guys don't know this it's a couple things i don't mess with i don't mess with coffee and i don't mess with coconuts okay this got coffee in it so yeah not my cup of tea i'm definitely going to pass this on to probably my mom my mom loves coffee and peppermint and stuff but it's just so funny how they have the directions on here it says um how to use me get naked and get in the shower wet your body and turn off the water cover your whole body in a scrub and rub it in circular motions rinse me use two to three times per week for best results but it has like a booty and all that stuff on the back and i thought that was really funny and it says test it on babes not bunnies <laughs> so okay that was pretty cute and okay oh i have prices for these so let's see that frank body was 18.95 you see the oil is 55 doll hairs ma'am okay um oh the ola hendrickson is 50 dollars for that i thought that was pretty pricey and then let me see the eyeshadow palette is 46 dollars that's kind of pricey for that eyeshadow palette but you do get a lot of shades and i do feel like they perform really well so all right okay so the next thing is by kitsch and it is an ice roller for your overworked sensitive skin and actually i kind of always wanted to try one of these um i have a roller that has like the granite roller i have one of those and i, I like it i don't use it all the time because i kind of forget about it sometimes but yeah let's see Ooh, it's already cold like right out the bat oh i can see how this would be really good for your face okay so it says okay use it for lymphatic drainage so we learned lymphatic drainage when we were in school but it says basically shows you how to prep your skin how to use it it gives you a little um it gives you a little schematic of which way you're supposed to roll the roller 
and it shows you how to help with inflammation and tension and depuff under eyes. So this is pretty cool. I actually kind of like this. Helps to depuff and brighten the under eye, calms inflammation and redness from breakout sunburn and shaving, temporary contracts, blood vessels to tighten the pores, which helps to alleviate sore muscles, tension, and headaches. I might actually use it for my muscles because I get muscle cramps like really bad in my legs. So very cool. Excited to try that out so far. I mean, I'm really am pretty impressed about this box so far. And then the last thing is from Milk Makeup. And this is the Kush Lip Scrub, a conditioning exfoliating lip scrub made with natural sugar cross crystals and hemp stem exfoliators for softer, smoother, more moisturized lips. And this is great because I was actually just about to buy um what is it, the agave lip scrub, and then we were all talking about it in our group chat about lip scrub so i will probably be using this tonight because i just did a lip swatch video right before this that will lick the lips and my lips are a little bit crusty dusty and can use all of the exfoliation after that because they were they were looking pretty rough after all of that and let me see and that kitsch roller was 18 dollars, and the milk makeup lip scrub was 22 dollars. so not bad i will go ahead and add everything up on the screen and yeah so i think with the exception of like that scrub, everything else was really nice. And yeah, to me, I always find like my boxes have normally been worth it, especially when they have like the box charm add-ons where you can go in and pick like other things for really cheap. Um, they have their charm room where you review stuff and you can use those points to buy uh, buy items out of the charm room. And then they have the pop-up where they have like brands, all types of brands and they're like discounted prices and everything. So yeah, not too bad at all. I think that's everything, right? All right. So that's everything out of there. We can go to the very last one, which is the Ipsy. All right, so my Ipsy, it is $12 a month to get the glam bag just regular. They have three different levels though, just like how BoxyCharm has. So they have the glam bag, they have the glam bag plus, and then they have the ultimate. So the glam bag plus uh, regular bag, what I have is $12. And you get, I believe five small, like, travel size mini items sample size items sometimes um sometimes you get a full time full size item so it kind of depends on what uh the, the item is but yeah so um you do get to pick a selection item and i think what did i pick for, i can't remember what i picked for my oh i think i picked the brush for my selection item but i'll just pull it out one at a time so um this real hair confidence in my glow highlighter was one of my items and i have a brow pencil that i got from them from ipsy and i love it so i was really excited to see this in here and the shade it doesn't have a shade name i think it's just called highlighter yeah it just says highlighter so i don't know if it's like a particular shade name but it looks like a nice champagne rosy gold color um let's see i guess i can swatch on that side i'll do a nice little swatch here Ooh, very nice very nice yeah that's pretty okay so very nice can definitely put that to some good use the next thing you got was the pore professional hydrate primer and this is a very very tiny sample um but i haven't tried the pore professional then this is the new one that came out so i haven't tried this new one i've tried the old one back in the day but it's like silicone and i don't use that anymore um but yeah so this says oil free silky lightweight 12 hour hydration non-greasy formula it says it's supposed to minimize pores look hydrated and healthy and it help makeup glide on smoothly all right i will probably give this a go later on especially in the winter time when my skin's a little bit drier we'll definitely do that let's see what's this oh i think was this i don't know i think i might have did this as an add-on so you can add on items between like three dollars and twenty dollars that you can add on to your box which is really cool um so sometimes i add on a couple different things and this one of those brushes is one of the ones i added on which is a firma 103 contour brush i just love me some brushes so yeah so i will put this to good use i can never have enough brushes the next thing is from item beauty and item beauty is by that tiktoker has like a makeup brand and so a bunch of her stuff was like in here that you can get um so this is a swipe and glow contour powder in the shade cheek money so it has hemp seed oil tiger grass extra and more um i think i did a swatch 
oh the shade is in vibes i guess i did a swatch and this does not seem like it's going to work on my complexion so i might pass this on to a friend but yeah you can barely come barely see it barely 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 see it yeah that's a no for me dog guys it's not gonna work it's not gonna work so all right so that one's done mm, mm, mm. that will be passed on to a friend so let's see the next thing i got was the pixie endless silky eye pencil in the shade bronze beam and i swear i just got this pencil oh no this is rose glow so oh it is a different color okay and well, then i'm not mad anymore then all right so cool so I actually really like this pencil a lot. So nice. So now I'm excited. I swore that was the same pencil that I just got in though. So different color altogether. So the next thing we have is this. Oh, this is my pick. The Shane to B Miami um, contour brush. So I really like Shane to B. It is a um, woman owned uh, Hispanic um, makeup brand. So I just did a uh, Hispanic Heritage Month uh video last week where i showcased uh hispanic and latinx beauty brands and shana b was one of the brands that i showcased so i'll link that below in case you want to see what else we got in here okay so the next thing we have is the tarte big ego mascara and i'm not gonna open it because i already have a bunch open right now but tarte mascaras are actually not too bad actually i have one open right now that's tarte and i actually really like so not too bad so the next thing we have is the rejuvenating mask cannabis sativa seed oil um evo skin so i'm not sure i guess it's a hydrating mask um i'm not really into this whole cannabis sativa seed oil type stuff so i'll probably pass this on to my mom she'll probably love that but yeah let's see the very last item that i have here is another item beauty product and it is their brow chow such a weird name brow chow ultra fine brow definer in medium brown and it's one of those brows where it's like a triangle oh why are brands going back to these triangle ones to me these are not as easy to use as like the little micro ones um but this one has like a toothbrush on it and like rihanna's brow one which is really interesting so um i'm not sure if i'm going to use this i have so many brow ones open right now but yeah so oh and then the bag itself you always get a cute little bag with it which is this is super cool it's like a corduroy little bag and it has the card inside i don't think they put the prices though in here do they i do have the prices okay so this is a mini but it does tell you that if you were to buy the professional full price this would be 32 dollars um, that mask, it says it's like hitting the reset button on your complexion. It nourishes, hydrates, and rejuvenates skin for a seriously dewy glow. Full size would be $22 for that. The Tarte Mascara is called Big Ego Mascara, and it's in black, and it lasts for up to 16 hours. Blah, 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 blah. It's supposed to do a dramatic lift, length, and volume. Um, but yeah, that's $23 for a full price. Let's see. Oh, the... Endless Silky Eye Pen by Pixie and Bronze Beam is $12 and that is full size. And let's see, um, the Meet Your Contour Powder's new Bestie, which is the Shana B Miami Contour Brush, that is full size and that is $23. So you figure I have two full size items right there that I already paid for the cost of my bag, which is $12. So it ain't bad. And the stuff that I can't use, I will pass it on to family or friends. But yeah, I guess that is all of our unboxings today Whew, we got through that relatively quickly i think um so yeah uh, mm, mm, i think that's it yeah all right then well if that is everything i hope that you guys liked today's video and if so please like and subscribe and otherwise i will see you all in the next one bye